we have to be better. I have to be better first and foremost. I have to be, I have to be a lot better. So you know, we have to be better. We, we, we it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. Um, and that's not me. That's not just me. That that's everyone. You know, we're competitors. Losing is, is frustrating. Um, you know, it's fresh. You feel it, but yeah, at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta turn the page and being frustrated. However you feel, it's not gonna not gonna win you a game. It's not gonna help. Um, you have to turn that and, and use that in action throughout the week, and then we have to translate it to 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 Sunday or Thursday tonight, whatever. We we have to translate it. We we care. We work hard. You know, I'm I'm grateful to be playing with the guys that that I am. You know, we work hard. Um, you know, we're we're Throughout the week, you know, we look good. We execute. We we, we do. We we push. But we, we got to find a way to make that make that translate again, especially especially offensively. First, again, first and foremost, myself. I have to be better. Have to be better. Receiver Adam Thielen was a little more blunt than that. He called the offensive performance last night an embarrassing effort. And I can't help but think how different that press conference goes if Frank Reich trusts Bryce Young on fourth and ten. They drive down. They win the game. He's in that press conference with his pads and his jersey still on. He's smiling. Primetime game. Al Michaels calling the game. That They said during the broadcast how excited he was about that. His first Al Michaels game. They win it. They feel like they have a little something. They've won two out of three. They're moving forward, laying the foundation for next year. That's why you go for it on fourth and ten. I don't want to hear percentages. I don't want to talk analytics. I want to talk about developing a young quarterback and giving him opportunities to build his conference, Peter, confidence, excuse me, Peter. And that was an opportunity lost last night. Regardless of how it would have turned out, it was an opportunity lost. Yeah, I mean, as I say, I would have gone for it. Uh, and I'm not sure it's 30%, whatever the percentage is. The reason I would have gone for it is because he's converted three fourth downs you know, in the last 30 minutes, you know, in the last, in the, I mean, of, of real time, uh, the last, whatever, 12 or 13 minutes on the game clock. So, and I just, you know, I understand Adam Thielen is gotta be tearing his hair out because Adam Thielen was on a really good offensive team for his whole career until he came to Carolina and so to not be able to move the ball with any consistency, it's got to be killing him. But I think I just look at this and I just say, you know, Mike, I said, uh, you probably heard it earlier, that this really reminds me what I saw last night in terms of, you know, a quarterback getting chased, getting bothered, getting pressured. It reminds me of Daniel Jones in the first five games of this year, 80 two pressures, 28 sacks. And that's what last night looked like to me. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, before we take our break, Michael David Smith, the managing editor of ProFootballTalk.com, has done the research at my request just in the past few minutes. Since 2013, Peter, there have been 26 field goals attempted of exactly 59 yards. 26 since 2013. How many do you think were made exactly 59 yards since 2013? 10. 12. 46%. Now, again, they weren't all at Soldier Field in November, but one of them was. The most recent one was Matt Prater nailing a 59-yarder at Soldier Field. So one of the 26, one of the 12 that went through was at Soldier Field. But the percentage is a little bit higher than we would have thought. Still... Still, I agree with your instinct. 30% too low last night in that moment. And the benefits in the future for giving Bryce Young a chance to prove himself and develop that confidence he desperately needs, Peter. That's why they should have gone for it. But, you know, kickers, I remember when I was a kid, a 40-yard field goal was a big deal. Now we've got 46% conversion rate at 59 yards. You know, the one thing I would say about the field goal try. And this just occurred to me as you're talking about that. Let's say they make the field goal. And uh, so they make the field goal. And Carolina basically now has to defend Chicago. And, and think about this, Mike. 
they would have kicked this field goal with about a minute 35 to go. Then you're going to give the ball back on a kickoff in a tie game to Chicago with a minute 35 to go and Chicago with having all three of its timeouts. It's, you know, I, it, there's a better chance that Tyson Bajan is going to get in field goal range. There's a better than 50, in my opinion, better than 50% chance he's going to get in field goal range. So that ought to be factored in to the decision also, which all you're doing is delaying the inevitable. Well, it's not inevitable, but delaying the likelihood that Chicago's going to get in position to be able to kick the winning field goal in a minute 35. But again, look, I think we both agree, should have gone for it. That's the way life goes, and we move on. And, and that's another question about the quality of the analytics. I, I don't think every team has the exact same formulations and procedures and approaches. There are deviations here and there. But it is different to say, what's my percentage chance making fourth and 10? What's my percentage chance making this field goal? And what's my percentage chance of winning if I do those two things? Because you're right. Even if you right. make the field goal, that's a different question. Position, Making right. the field goal is a different question than what are my chances of winning? Because even if, let's say, the, the chances of making the field goal are 40%, I don't think that means that your chances of winning are, are you know, 40 or 50%. I don't think they're nearly as good. But anyway. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.